All right. So, in today's video, we're going to be learning how to control pedal board in Logic Pro using an expression pedal. Now, this is actually a complimentary video to an article I wrote on decibelpeak.com. So, if you're interested in checking that out, I'll be leaving a link in the description box. So, let's get right into it. Uh, the reason I'm making this video actually is after reading a comment left to me by one of my readers who refers to himself as Polyboy. So if you're watching this Polyboy, this one's for you and anyone else experiencing the same issue. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create an audio track. Then you're going to want to load up pedal board in your effects, open that up. And then we're going to expand this little panel down here, which includes all our macro targets. You don't want to worry about any other target than A. That's the only one we're going to be modifying. So here's where I think you went wrong, Polyboy. Based on your description, it sounds like you have pedal state selected instead of pedal position. Pedal state is basically on and off. So when you're moving your expression pedal, you're basically turning your pedal on and off. So simple fix, just make sure pedal position is selected. So that's the first step. The next thing we're going to want to do is open Logic Pro X panel, go into control surfaces, and we're going to learn assignment for macro target A. So I'm getting a different window than you guys. You guys are going to get this window. And that's because I have advanced options enabled, which I highly recommend. I'm going to be showing you how to do that at the end of this video. So for now, just follow along. So now the uh, window is waiting for us to basically input some sort of data. So I'm just going to move my expression pedal and it's going to detect it and it's going to assign it to that macro target. There we go. It's been learned. Now we're going to close this and what's going on? It's not working, right? Well, it's working, but there's it's not working properly. And to be honest with you guys, I have no idea why it does this. There is a fix. I will show it to you immediately. But this might happen to you the first time you assign your uh, expression pedal to a macro target. No worries. Let's just reset. A shortcut to get into that uh, same window is Command L. So it'll save you a little bit of time. We're just going to delete the assignment we already created and start over. Once again, slot one, pedal position. And just make sure that it's at zero. You can move it around a little bit just to make sure, but get it at zero. It'll work this time, I promise. Command L, move your expression pedal ever so gently, and ta-da, it works. I have no idea why. It's probably a bug in Logic Pro. Hopefully Apple will fix it, which probably means they'll never fix it. Let's be honest, guys. But uh, anyways, it works. There's a way to, uh, to fix this, so. Technically, we're ready to record. Uh, the only thing I'm going to remind you guys of is that, let's just click A for automation. When you're recording and you want to track with your expression pedal in real time or even once the audio's already been recorded, you want to set it to touch. That means it's going to be writing automation data as you either play or record. So be careful with that. Once you're done recording, you want to put it back to read so it basically locks in. Otherwise, when you play back your track, if your expression pedal is touched in any way, it will overwrite the automation data that you already have. So just be careful with that. Uh, last thing we're going to look at is how to enable these advanced options. So we're going to go back to control surfaces. We're going to go to preferences. And we're going to go in advanced. And as you can see, I have all of mine selected, but the one that will give you the expert view is control surfaces. So if you want, I, I highly recommend doing this. It'll make things easier for you down the line and you don't have to worry about the other ones for now. So that sums up this video. I hope that was helpful. And if it was, please leave us a like. It really helps the channel grow. And if you want to stay in the loop, make sure to uh, to subscribe so you get updates for every new video that we make and um, at the same time you know guys if you have any recommendations any requests 
leave them down in the comments either on the website or on the on the channel and uh, I'll either make an article a video to uh, to help you guys out or reply to you directly depending on how complicated the issue is so I thank you for your time and uh, we'll see you in the next one